sculpt in bronze. And um, I'm so glad to be in Brighton this afternoon. One of my sculptures have been uh, acquired by the city. It's called the Stargazer. I had uh, created uh, the sculpture during um, one of my um, sketches, uh, sketching tours of the park, and uh, noticed a little girl sitting down and uh, watching the sky, uh, studying the stars very intently, and it was the most beautiful picture of, uh, of curiosity and interest and wonder. Uh, I tried to capture that in the sculpture. I'm so glad that it's been placed at the Observatory Park here in Brighton. I think it's a fitting spot for it. I do mostly acrylic paintings. I try to get a little bit more realistic, but I also like a little touch of color. Um, I was lucky enough to have Brighton accept my art. This is the fourth time I was accepted and I've sold a few pieces here. I uh, moved here from Chicago about a little over three years ago, um, and I just fell in love with the mountains, fell in love with the wildlife, and a lot of the art that I do is, has to do with that. Um, one thing that I've started doing is I, uh, I've been taking snowboards and peeling off all the fiberglass and sanding it down to the wood core and using that as my canvas. So it's just giving me a different look and it kind of just goes with the feel here and it just fits right in. Um, I have a couple pieces in the show that there, there's two different snowboards. Um, uh, one is a horse, the whole head of it, with uh, two welded horseshoes together. And then another one is the, uh, it's called the team, the team on the field and it's a, a bunch of horses on a board. Yeah, I'm here with the sculpture on loan program with the farmer sculpture. It was chosen as People's Choice Award and purchased by the city. I got into art um, about 30 years ago when I was coming out of high school. I really wanted to be an art teacher. And then I had kids really young, which you know kind of forced my hand. I got a job in construction. But now that my kids are older, I got back into it once I moved out here. So uh, like I said, the, the wildlife, all the flora, all the fauna, that's the stuff that really just pushes me, makes me want to make awesome things, the things that just fit in here in Colorado. When I was three years old, I became noticed as an artist having talents with my drawing and painting and I just carried on with that all the way throughout college and art schools. Just the beauty of light I think that's the main thing for me is the contrast of light and dark and color it just I don't know it's um, when you see a sunset or the, the light shining off of different surfaces I think that's the main thing that inspires me. I'd like to capture a moment in time with the figurative by telling a story through the human emotion. Whether it's capturing something from the past or emotion that's done today. I uh, have been sculpting for 30 plus years now. Um, just recently one of my sculptures have been acquired by the Denver Art Museum. It will open um, the January in the Martin Building. I love sculpting because it's a it's a very traditional form of art. Children get into playing with mud pies and and sand from childhood. It's a very in, uh, very intuitive method of uh, building. And sc sculpting your thoughts and emotions are uh, another form of uh, communication. And I feel those, this form of communication is a lot more um, permanent and, uh, and it says, 
captures a moment in life which fleets away. that brighten supports the artists. It, it really gives you a lot of um, inspiration or uh, makes you want to create more art. And I think art is very important for the community. Um, it also allows kids to know that they can start creating and know, and older people, because I'm not exactly young. <laughs> I was in the military and um, now I'm being able to follow my dream after I served my country. I think uh, public art is a beautiful uh, way uh, to create um, intrinsic value in a city and a community. People love their art and their streets and beautification and this is a very subliminal way to bring in uh, a healthy neighborhood. It brings culture to the community. It brings people together to places that were once lost. Oh man, I think it's so important. It's, it's a way of, of self-expression. It's a way of everybody relating together. I mean, you can, you can have 50 people see one thing and, and, and everybody have a different take on it, see one different perspective, one different aspect. And I think when it's in the community like this, it, then everybody gets to share their thoughts, their feelings, and it's just healthy. It brings everybody together. I think it's such an important thing.